There we go. Hi, my name is Leticia Mann, and I'm going to persuade my audience to abolish the death penalty. Did you ever think that your own family member could be on death row for a crime that they didn't commit? Most people would say that's a far-fetched situation. It's hard to imagine, even harder to live through. There was an estimated 20,000 prisoners who were falsely accused in 2019 alone. This could very well be your father, your mother, or your child. If we don't abolish the death penalty, we will continue to play Grim Reaper and murder innocent people. I implore you to really think this through as I give you my findings and research. First, I will address the facts of the matter. Amnesty.org reported 107 countries have abolished the death penalty, which is an increase. And yet in 2019, 647 people were executed. Execution methods range from beheading, electrocution, hanging, lethal injection, and fire range. Juvenile executions still happen, even though it breaks the international human rights law prohibiting those under 18 to be put on death row. Since 1990, 147 children have been executed, regardless of if they were innocent or not. This action is irreversible. Most executions in 2019 happened in these locations in this order. China, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and Egypt are all part of the places that will still give you a death penalty. Next, I will go over the history of the death penalty. It has shown damage to all people involved. There's pressure on everyone. The chaplains, the police officers, the wardens, executioners, they have all reported having PTSD-like symptoms, and most of them resign after one or two kills. Most people would be fine with this, or this action. However, police that work here are suffering, having to carry out these murders as their everyday job. If I may quote Donald Cabana, a former warden in Mississippi Penitentiary, he says, there's nothing commonplace about walking a healthy young man to a room, strapping him in his chair, and coldly and methodically murdering him. And another thing, crime is not decreasing. No matter the facts that they have over 1,474 deaths in South States, they still have the death penalty and the crime does not decrease. Let's also address the time in which they were wrong. Like with Dennis Williams and Habib Ibrahim. Dennis Williams was convicted in 1978 for a crime of rape and murder, which he did not commit. It took a group of students and journalists to have his death sentence overturned by digging deeper and investigating in ways that the police had not. But not before he spent 17 years in prison on death row. Or how about Habib Ravahim, who said on death row twice for a crime he didn't commit. And he was to die by firing squad in 2005 and 2007. He text messaged Amnesty that they were about to be executed which launched an international campaign and saved his life. He now helps juveniles in the same position as their lawyer. But let's also remember that not all inmates are as lucky and most of them sit in there for years before anybody or if ever brings them exoneration. The death penalty is also statistically unfair and targets African-Americans in the United States, especially in the Southern states, where slavery is, especially in the Southern states, where slavery died last 
and still has a long history of racial discrimination and racism. In my humble opinion, it is a way to continue modern day lynching of African Americans. Lastly, we must abolish the death penalty through legislation and civil action. There are many ways that you can go about helping the situation as civilians. One way is to donate. There are many nonprofit grassroots charities that like the Innocent Projects that will take your donations and work toward legislations and change. Another way is to signing the endless petitions against the death penalty and court systems that are carrying them out that they think did a crime without enough information or enough evidence. Another way that you can spread awareness is to start a local group or a fundraiser for those nonprofits like the Innocence Project. All things will help. And lastly, you may volunteer. Volunteering can make many forms, and I would say to just go to Google and check for nonprofit organizations. Find your way. And maybe then get some swag while you're there because all the money will go to the proceeds of organizations fighting legislation. When you join the movement, you also receive email updates about how you can help prevent wrongful convictions from continuing to happen. So in conclusion, the death penalty is a public safety issue, a human rights issue, and murder. We must move on from this barbaric practice for the betterment of human life. We can no longer play Grim Reaper, and the death penalty is murder. Abolish the death penalty with all of us today. Thank you.